This is the Shallow Diamond. Shallow Diamond is a shallower cut version of Dave's Diamond. This puzzle is a combination of two 3x3x3 cubes fused together at a 60 degree angle to each other, like this. Because of that, Shallow Diamond has 12 axes of rotation, located roughly around these corners, 12 of them around the puzzle. When I turn the puzzle slightly, you can see this roughly square-shaped group of pieces in the middle. That corresponds to a centerpiece on a 3x3. And these th groups of three pieces correspond to edge pieces on a 3x3. And again, there are no corner pieces here. Hence, th that hence why it's shallow cut. So when I make a move on one of the 3x3 cubes, movement on the other cube is actually blocked because the cuts don't go all the way through. So you can only scramble one of the 3x3 cubes at a time. And only when you restore the centers can moves on the other cube be made available, like this. So combining these moves, you can scramble the pieces on the puzzle. Notice that these edge pieces actually have a chirality to them. For example, this one is in the wrong chirality, so the cuts don't actually line up and you cannot make a move on the other cube, even though the centers are restored. So this is, an interest, this is uh, some interesting things that you have to work around when you're scrambling or solving this puzzle. However, I decided that I might try to get rid of this uh, problem, so to say. I made a fudged version. In this version, I added some gaps between the pieces so that if I, so for example, if I do the same sequence of moves as I did on the other puzzle, then there's no chirality of these edge pieces anymore, so it doesn't matter and all the moves can just uh, function as normal. I'm quite surprised that this version is very stable actually. These pieces don't slide around very much. In fact, they don't slide around at all. And even though there are these like large gaps in, in the puzzle, you can even see into the mechanism a little bit. In fact, I think this puzzle actually turns better than the original version because there's probably like less friction between the pieces because of all the material that has been removed. You can even kind of finger trick it, but the angles are kind of shallow, so you might slip off. So one thing you might have noticed as I'm uh, making moves on this puzzle is that these two pieces will always remain paired with each other if I if I just make these moves. They cannot be separate. They, well, I mean, okay, you can separate them temporarily, but when you restore the centers, they'll always come back together. So there's actually one way to get around that, which is to use a move that I haven't showed yet, which is these jumbling moves. So if I do this sequence of moves, let's try something like this. Notice that there's a huge gap here, and despite that, nothing really wiggles around, all the pieces are stable. I'm quite impressed. Uh, anyway, I'll continue this sequence of moves. Uh, I think it goes like this. Yes, so now the puzzle is back in shape, but don't notice that the pairing between these pieces has been broken. So if I continue scrambling the puzzle like this, then all of these uh, all of these pieces can be exchanged with each other without any restrictions. Also, these big I don't really know what to call these these big pieces are also have, are now scrambled. So I think these jumbling moves are the only way to scramble these groups of pieces. So yeah, I really like I like playing with this one a lot more than the original because. There's just so much more freedom, and you don't have to worry about weird bandaging. So yeah, this is the Shallow Diamond Puzzle.